box. Prepare yourself to save you. Today, I'm gonna go to the saving. We can only get to the Sea Haven via the path that leads to Talum Medical School. After crossing the central plaza, turn right at the first corner. <clears throat> if Efreet were here, I'd never have to be drenched like this. school. Mr. Elton? Is that you? Wh what's going on here? I can't believe you are the one we're looking for. Jude Mathis, I have a warrant for your arrest. There's one for her too. Why? I'm authorized to use force if necessary, but I don't want to hurt you. But wait, just hold on a minute. We may have done a little breaking and entering, but that hardly makes us public enemy number one. So much for that. It looks like they're not listening. Oh Mr. Eldon! I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I have my orders. Wait. Jude, I can't let them capture me. I have to resist. Welcome back. Then we'll do it the hard way. Go on, get her. This is goodbye, Jude. Forgive me for all of this. Think your next move over carefully, Doc. The more trouble you give us, the harder your sentence. It's just that... I just wanted to... Well, aren't these military types brave? Protecting the world from pipsqueaks like you. Uh, who are you? Save the chit-chat for later. Your lovely lady friend's about to set sail, you know. Wait, but I... Listen close, kid. The military issued your warrants, and with the Military Powers Act invoked, you're an ex-marked criminal. If they catch you, you'll face... execution. What? Execution? Come on. <laughs> You're sturdier than you look. <laughs> What's going on here? The military's doing drills or something on shore. We were just getting out of their way. Come on, do you really think a pipsqueak, a pretty girl, and a dashing man like me would be up to no good? Um... It's Alvin. Huh? That's my name. You said that you're Jude, right? Uh, I've been... This, uh, and this is Mila. Hang in there, kid.
That captain needs to lay off a bit. Is he planning to grill us the entire voyage? What do you expect? We don't have any sort of identification. Speak for yourselves. I can't believe we're heading to Ajul. Look, we're leaving Fenmont's spirit climb. You said you're a med student. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Hey, can I ask you something? Why did you save us? What's in it for you? Okay, wait. Well, cash, of course. How does saving us make you money? Simple. I figure you must be in serious trouble if the military's after you. Now that I've swung to your rescue and impressed you with my daring do, I can charge you for my services. Charge us what? I'm nearly hmm. broke. Same goes for me, I'm afraid. Seriously? I take more than just cash, you know. Don't you have any precious metals? Jewels? Rich relatives about to croak? Nothing on me. Everything happens so fast. I doubt I have anything that would sell for a high price either. What exactly do you do, Alvin? You look like a soldier, but you sure don't act like one. <laughs> You're on the right track, kid. I'm a mercenary. It's better than being a soldier. We don't have to follow orders. We set our own hours, and we help people. For a price. Well, it would seem like you helped us for free. Ah, uh, well, it's a risk of the trade. Maybe I'll find some paying customers in Anjou. Sorry about that. Charity work. Wonderful. <sighs> Are we there yet? Yeah. <laughs> My God. This is our June line. Hey. It's hard to believe we're in a whole different country. Although it feels just like home. Hmm? Well, this part of Ajul is hardly what I'd call exotic. Huh. Hey, there's a map. Let me check it out for a bit. Brave kid. The way he plays it cool. Decided to make the best of it, has he? He's not as immature as he looks. Would it kill you to show a little concern? I mean, you dragged him into this, right? He insisted on helping me. I told him again and again to go home, but he wouldn't listen. He's here of his own accord. <laughs> I see. He believes he got himself into this mess, so now he has to put on a brave face. Either way, he's still acting like an adult. North of here. Hmm. So? You leaving now? No. Alvin, you must be well versed with the sword. Mercenaries like you must have some battle chops. Well, yeah, of course. Could you teach me how to use one? I don't have the four to back me up anymore. If I can't wield a sword, what's left? The four? Not sure I follow. But I'd be more than happy to teach you. If only you had some cash. So you won't help? Here, how about we make some moolah while I train you? What do you mean? Well, there's got to be some paying customers here in the Sea Haven, right? Let's take a look around. Huh? Huh?
Hey there. You've got a request, right? How about letting us handle it? Oh, you're mercenaries. Oh, perfect timing. What kind of request? Someone's got a problem with monsters, and we get paid to solve their problem. Oh. So by taking on these jobs, you get the reward, and I get the practice. Right. Everybody wins. Well, except the monsters. Okay. Hit us with the details. Some monsters we've never seen before are lurking near a lake west of the Sea Haven. A lot of people depend on that lake for water, so those monsters have become a real nuisance. I'm looking for someone to exterminate the beasts. What's the reward? Cash, of course. You heard the woman. Thoughts? Sounds fine to me. Fighting monsters will be good training. Excellent. Now these beasts are no pushovers, so please watch yourselves. About your sword training, the monsters aren't just going to stand there like training dummies, you know? We should go over some basics first. I appreciate it. Ready your sword. Well, that'll do. You have my gratitude. Shall we go? Wait, Jude. Take a moment to consider your situation. You don't have to stay with me anymore, you know. Uh, right. Now that we've crossed the border, it'll be a while before any pursuers from Rashugal get here. What are you suggesting? Just that he still has some time to think things over. Sorry, I'll make up my mind by the time you set off. Okay, very well. Let's go and complete that request. You thought you were doing the right thing. Now you're on the run. That's a pretty tough lesson for a kid your age. Yeah, but I brought it upon myself. This was surging with mana when they activated their so-called Lance of Kresnik. So this must be the key they used to arm it. Do you want something? Whoa, hold your fire! I come in peace. Can't a mercenary have a friendly chat with his client? That much is fine. But when you want to chat, you needn't hold your breath and sneak up behind me. Sheesh. You make me sound so unsavory. Do you berate poor Jude like this too? I don't intend to berate anyone. That was never my intention. Do try to be gentle with him. Boys can be so vulnerable. That's a surprisingly tender sentiment. That's what it says on my business card. The mercenary with a heart of gold. Those are good words to live by. Although, with a motto like that, I can't imagine you'd live very long. <laughs> Not the type to sugarcoat things, are you? shining. Mine too. Wait, you two have orbs too? Great! We should try linked combat. What's that? Lilium orbs are handy things. They let you sense your companion's intent. That's a huge advantage in battle. You can coordinate your thoughts to pull off combination attacks. We call this linking. Sounds great, but how do we do it? Well, try it and see for yourself. Focus your consciousness into the Lilium orb. Try linking up. So this is linking. Yeah. 
Okay, it's time to flank them. Attack! I can sense Jude's next movement. Hey, watch your back. I'll help. <laughs> It's time to finish them off. I think you're ready to learn some linked arts. Demon Fist! Demon Fist! Huge! Go, Roger. Final dead. Yeah, I know. All right. Ha! Oh, yeah. Let's finish them off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ha! Yeah. Ha! Burn! Demon Fist! Victory born from cooperation and friendship. Not bad, right? Yes, I quite like it. I feel much better knowing I'm not fighting alone. <laughs> right there with you, buddy. easier. You pack quite a punch. I, um, thanks. I won't let anyone do excellent.
You forget it. Let's see. What are you up to? Just trying to organize all of my notes for my thesis. Those in the books at a time like this? You sure are studious. Yeah, probably a waste of time. I'm sure I've already been expelled being an X marked criminal and all. Ah, cheer up, kid. If I get a chance, I'll testify to the military and the school on your behalf. Shouldn't be hard to make the case that you're just a poor kid who got sucked into this. Thanks. But aren't you a wanted criminal too? Ah, that. I guess I did flee along with you. So if we get captured, I'll testify for you. I'll tell them that you're nowhere near as shady as you look. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. Just keeps getting better. monsters we're supposed to get rid of. Indeed. They certainly don't look like the normal fauna for this area. All right. Let's get the job done.
Ich hab John. John. You okay? I can't complain. No better training than an actual battle. You got that right. Let's head back to Aladi Sea Haven and make a report. You seem to know your way around a fight. Yeah, I studied self-defense when I was a kid. They say that even the best trained soldiers may panic in the face of actual combat. Yet you seem completely together. Well, I had a friend I trained with who used to shout sparring time and attack me out of the blue. So it's probably thanks to her. I see. I'd always wind up on the ground covered in bruises. I'm sorry to dredge up such painful memories. What? No, it's not like that. Don't all bullied children say that? Bullied? That's not what... Wait. Was it? Should have gone a little easier. Those monsters won't be tinkling in your water supply anymore. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. And that's how it's done. More where that came from, too. Lots of people with problems out there. And gall to make them go away. You're a real pro at this, Alvin. Hey! Hmm. No fever. How are you feeling? I don't seem to have any strength. Um, have you been eating properly? I've never eaten. Ever? Through Sylph, I drew life from the air. With Undine's power, I received huh. sustenance from the water. What's she talking about? I guess the spirits gave her all the energy she needed. Well, now you're gonna have to nourish yourself the old-fashioned way. I see. So this is what you call hunger. <laughs> Fascinating. So, should we rest at the inn? Now that you mention it, I could use some grub myself.
That was quite a sigh. So seriously, you guys are spying for Arjul, right? What? Of course not. I've never heard of the Military Powers Act being used against anyone other than Arjul's spies. You're thinking too much into this. Why are you so concerned about this? Unless you're spying for Rashagol. No, no. <laughs> I was just thinking that if you were spying for Arjul, Maybe you could use your connections to score me some high-paying intelligence work. Sorry to disappoint you, but I assure you I will pay your fee. You just have to wait a little bit longer. Fair enough. But even with your special friend discount, the interest is piling up. <laughs> Welcome. Three rooms, please. But before that, can we get something to eat? Oh, my apologies, but our cook isn't in yet. Yo, uh, hey, yo. is she okay? Can we at least use your kitchen? Yes, please, help yourself. Your friend looks like she's about to pass out. My stomach. It really is growling. <laughs> and here I thought that was just a silly human expression. bad. It's good. I quite enjoy ingesting calories with you. Humans should learn to cherish these simple pleasures. <laughs> this might be her first time sleeping, too. And apparently she never ate before today, either. Who in the world is she? She claims she's Maxwell. That Maxwell? Yeah. She's apparently a spirit in physical form. Well, not just any spirit. The Lord of Spirits. Wielder of the Four Elements. The Eldest Spirit. Maxwell has many names. And now we add Mila to that list? <laughs> she's supposed to be the spirit Maxwell? You gotta be kidding me. Is Maxwell really that mighty? Of course. That's why this is so hard to swallow. I grew up hearing bedtime stories about Maxwell. What in the world would a spirit like that be trying to destroy? Trying to destroy? What are you referring to? She called it a Spyrex, I think. The device from the laboratory. Hmm. Maybe I should just ask Mila about it. I don't know. You have a nasty habit of poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Your cursed curiosity made me a wanted man too, you know. <sighs> well, think hard before asking, okay? Yeah, you're right. Good morning. Good day, Jude. I was just about to share my plans with Alvin. What is it? I'm thinking of returning to Nia Kara. Is that your hometown? More accurately, it's where my shrine is. If I go back, I might be able to resummon the four. So, she really is Maxwell. This is where you come in, Jude. 
Will you accompany me to Nia Kara? What? It's true that you brought your current situation upon yourself, but I bear some of the blame as well. I'll put in a good word for you with the people of Nia Kara. I'm sure they'll look after you. Wow, you've put a lot of thought into this. Yes. Remember when you told me I seemed unconcerned? I decided to take that to heart. Mila, you don't need to practice your swordplay anymore? No need to concern yourself with my martial abilities. Well, if nothing else, you know how to swing the pointy end. Okay. I'll come with you. Good. You needn't worry. A little more practice wouldn't hurt, though. You think so? Better safe than sorry. Come find me once you're ready to go. Wait, you're coming with us, Alvin? Why not? I've come this far. Hey, Mila? Hmm? Thanks. No. Why is I'm Alvin 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 Ready to hit the road? Mila, you said it's north of here? How far? Yeah. Less than half a day's flight time. If we could fly using Sylph's power. Oh, well, I'm afraid my wings are, <laughs> you know, non-existent. <laughs> I hope we can find a place to rest along the way. The map showed a village in that direction, so we should be okay. Either way, we can't just stay here. We must press forward. I know, I know. Is Milo really that Maxwell? She does act a bit nutty, but she looks normal enough. I think it's true. When I first met her, Mila had the four great spirits with her. What? Get out of here. No, seriously. Fire spirit Efreet, water spirit Undine, wind spirit Sylph, and earth spirit Gnome. It was the first time I'd ever seen them in person, but there was no mistaking who they were. That's a mighty exclusive club. Can't imagine they hang out with a lot of mortal girls. Yeah. <laughs> A 
Straighten my scarf. You sure do love that thing. Don't you? It's one of Fismarge's finest. Custom made for yours truly. I don't know much about brands, but it does look good on you. You gotta be careful about what you wear, kid. It's how the world judges a man. I'd rather think what's inside is what counts. Yeah, and this is how what's inside gets projected to the outside. You don't believe some people shape what's outside in order to conceal the ugliness within? <laughs> Well, if you can't see through a false front, isn't that your problem? So you blame the victims for being deceived? <gasps> if that's really what you believe, Alvin, it tells me all I need to know about what's within. Man, <laughs> I sure slipped up this time, huh? <laughs> Walking sure is grueling. That's unexpected coming from you. I'm just used to having Sylph fly me everywhere. The only time I ever really walked was when I used Undine to travel across water. I see. Maybe this is your punishment for treating the four great spirits like your personal servants? Servants? <laughs> they may help out now and then, but they're the ones who pester me. They're like a bunch of bickering in-laws that never go home. Did you just call the four bickering in-laws? <laughs> Got it. Attack. 
Over already? Don't you forget. Compared to Fenmont's night climb, the sky in Anjul sure is bright. That's true. The spirit climbs here are much more stable. What are you talking about? What do you intend to climb? C-L-I-M-E. Surely the great Lady Maxwell knows all about the subject? Don't flatter yourself by assuming I recognize every hmm. arbitrary word you humans create. Human arrogance can be so trying. Mila, do you know what Riza Maxia is made of? As if I wouldn't know? The power of spirits composes the entire natural world. Right. The term spirit climb refers to the balance of spirit power. When that power is out of balance, nature can become polarized in one direction. That's why there are unusual spirit climbs, like the perpetual night of Fenmont. I see. Thank you. Now I understand. You're very good at explaining things. My pleasure. Oh, I see how it is. I guess I'm just an arrogant human compared to little old innocent Jude. That's an impressive amount of fruit. <laughs> I'm catching a whiff of cider. Oh, they must have orchards here. Well, well, well. We don't get many visitors here. Do you live here, ma'am? I well, would hope well, so. Well. I'm the mayor. I'm Is this the, the right mayor. road to Niakara? Niakara? Now that's a name I haven't heard in ages. What do you mean? It's what people called a long-forgotten village. I don't even know if it still exists. I heard tales of the village as a child. People claimed it lies beyond the Kijara Sea Falls. Where can we find it? You need to cross some seriously rugged terrain to get there. It won't be an easy journey. In that case, we should probably rest here before heading on. Agreed. I'm afraid our little village doesn't have an inn. Not much call for one. But I've an extra room in my house. You're welcome to use it if you like. Thank you for your hospitality, ma'am. Yeah. So, why bother taking human form at all? Spirits are really just masses of mana. They can't interact with the temporal world in that state. For a spirit to take physical form, it needs a catalyst of a corresponding element. As an example, the fire spirit of Freak can take form as a blazing inferno. And as Maxwell, you can be any element, right? The human body contains all four elements, so it's the perfect catalyst for me to take a physical form. What would happen if you lost your catalyst? I would gather elements to make a new one. 
but I'd have to wait for it to grow up. Grow up? You mean you start as a baby? It's time consuming, but if you want to use a human form as a catalyst, you have to wait for the body to develop. So even the Lord of Spirits isn't omnipotent? Not in this human realm, anyway. Let's just be grateful she didn't go with the male model, eh? Wouldn't bother me. Oh, you swing both ways? That's not what I meant. <gasps> Mm-hmm. <laughs>